Hello everyone, welcome to this video. We're going to be replacing the stock Cadillac converter on this 2014 Audi A4. It's the TFSI engine, so they might vary from different engines. We have the ECS tuning Cadillac converter, and it comes with a 3 inch downpipe. So what this is, is basically a 3 inch to a 200 cell count Cadillac converter, so you have a little bit better airflow. And then back to 3 inch. And this will go 3 inch all the way down to the bottom. We have this adapter that will go from a 3 inch to a 2.5 inch, I'm pretty sure, diameter. And then we also have two new gaskets for right here and right here. They do give us new bolts and uh, nuts to put on. And two clamps for when we uh, clamp them together. That's for this whole part. In the past, I've had problems with the turbo under boost code, and that will be the P0299 code that a lot of people get. So it could be a lot of things like a, a leak, uh, a diverter valve, um, a bad turbo. And my recent thing that I just found out was that I had a clogged cat, which was a factory cat with like 160,000 miles on it. So I went through, switched out my diverter valve with my a block valve. That didn't fix it. I checked the N75 valves, put new ones in, didn't fix it. Looked for uh, boost leaks, I had none, and switched out my PCV valve. That didn't fix it. So I took it to a mechanic one day, and he actually ran some live tests on it, and realized that my front O2 sensor was running hotter than my um, than what it should actually. And so he said, switch out the cat. Try to get a high flow cat, which I did, which is the ECS tuning. And so now when I'm going like under acceleration, I don't have any lag or like, um, yeah, I guess you would call it lag. But now the code doesn't pop up at all. Like before it used to pop up and now it doesn't. I would say if you can't figure out anything else, definitely go check your O2 sensors with like a mechanic and see if it's running hotter than it should, like I did. And maybe you do have a clogged cat. But even if you don't, I would still switch your stuff to a high flow cat. It just helps the turbo so much more. So for our stock cat, I'm pretty sure it's running like a 400 or more uh, cell count. So it has a very restricted airflow so that it can burn all the gases off. But we're not worried about that. And I'm pretty sure it's clogged. I took it to a mechanic and they said that this O2 is running hotter than it should. And I'm also not building boost. I took advantage of the Black Friday deal that they had and uh, got myself a whole setup. What we're going to have to do is take off our intake, which won't be too hard. If you have an intake box, it's pretty easy. You just unbolt it down there, take off your math plug, and just pull the whole box out. So let's get to it. We're going to go ahead and take our O2 sensors off. So. You have this right here, and if you remove your top, you can see a little bit more. So your O2 sensor plugs into right here. You can just kind of take it off. Yeah, unplugs. Socket. Um, it just has this little slit in it, just to kind of put the cord in. So just like that. It might be a little tough if they've never been off before. Just be careful with it so you don't damage it because they're pretty spindy. I don't know if we can get the back one off. I'm going to try real quick. But So our back one's right here. It's a little hard to get to. So what I would recommend doing is just grabbing the cord that comes up. Alright. So this back one is pretty hard to get to. I had to use a pick to shove up underneath. And uh, yeah, kind of broke it, but it's whatever. We'll find a place to put it. So before we jack the car up, we're gonna take these bolts off. We have four of them. The last one's kind of hard to get to. If we can't get to it from the top, we'll get it from the bottom. Right by the mid pipe, kind of by the resonator. Uh, I would, if I was to start this again, I'd probably check these and see if these will come off. Nice and loose, and I guess. It just falls out. So 
So we'll just leave that on for now. But it, it literally just comes right off. One thing I want to show you. So I'm looking down by the cat. Um, but you'll have three 12s right here. And this is how you get one of them. Is have a long extension and put it on there. Mine busted off so I'm not going to be able to reuse it. But that's okay. So there's one right there and I think we have to get the top one from up here too. But we can get that bottom one from the bottom. So I'm going to take this off. Which is a 13. So now we got our pipe down. Alright, so I don't think we're going to get that to fit. But it did give me access to the top bolt. And the other bolt, so I'm just going to take those off from here. Here it is. This is what it looks like when it's out. So, of course we have our cats. You'll notice the difference in size. And this has smaller pipes than this one. And then, over here, you'll see the resonators. Which goes in that way. Kind of goes through some junk to quiet it down and goes back out. Um, this is, I think, a two and a half inch pipe. Compared to the three inch pipe. If you look at the openings, they look about the same. But this one actually has a lip that uh, makes it a 2.5, unlike this one. And basically, so that's what it looks like. There's a lot of cells in there. Okay, to our new one, where we only have 200 cells. This will be a lot easier to install since this is smaller and the length is shorter compared to this big bulky one. We might be able to put our hands underneath and uh, get some tools under there too, maybe. And we can also tighten these ones from the top, so that'll make it pretty easy. And yeah, I think it uh, should be a pretty easy install. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up our package. I was taking off the um, cat. Two of my bolts came out like this, so I'm going to have to put them back in like that. So I'm not going to be able to use up two of these, which is probably all right but we'll go ahead and take out our first gasket and put it on the turbo so that we don't forget and that's how it came off so we'll flip ours and that's how we'll put it back on The old one doesn't look too bad, but uh, could be replaced. Looks like there's a little leakage out right there. Possibly. They're going to be for the O2 sensors. We'll just take these out. And there's really no need for them anymore. But if you can't remember which O2 sensors for the front, it's going to be this one with the gray. Just save you a little time. We're just going to go ahead and put them in now. And then our back one will have just the black. Put those in. Now we're ready to put the cat in. So the last cat came out. Uh, you have to push it out through the bottom. This cat we might be able to slide through. So we got that on. Makes it a little bit easier going from the top. What the heck? There are two different size nuts. The bigger ones are going to be for up by the turbo. And then the smaller ones are going to be for the bolts that will go to the hookup down there. So just so you know. So I found a pretty cool and new way to do this, um, especially get the back two, especially that bottom one. So before, I was under the car and it had all those extensions, but I'm pretty sure if you do it this way, you'll be able to take it off like the stock one too. So you'll jump up on the engine, lay down, and then you got to put your hand up here. And then if you have 
like I have an extension and like a quarter of an extension and then the 15. So that was long enough to put my bottom one on and tighten it and to tighten the side one too. So I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. So I'm laying on the motor right here. So we're gonna shove this right down through here and then shove this right here. Go ahead and get the top one. All right, now that I got that on, go ahead and put our two sensors back on. So I'm just gonna wrap it around the heater core hose, and then we'll plug it in. Plug it in. We'll just kind of let it chill right here. So, so for the most part, we have all of our stuff up here done. Now we're just gonna get our middle um, spot with our adapters and everything. We just gotta get that done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this with the adapters and just slide them on. I'm not gonna tighten them up. I'm gonna work on that and then I'm gonna go to the front and put my three bolts in. I'm gonna tighten up my bolts and then make sure everything else is good and we'll tighten up the rest. Got the car all buttoned up, everything's back together. Uh, so this is what it looks like from top. And it's all tight, everything's plugged in. All right, so now we're in the car. I was gonna see if we notice a difference with uh, the car. See if the turbo spews up a little bit quicker since there's not much restriction on it. And uh, yeah, have a little bit of fun too. We got the traction all the way off. If you don't know how to do that, you can push and hold the traction. It'll say sport and then it'll say off. So that's completely off. It's really fun, just be careful if you do it. And I also have it in paddle mode. So we'll have some fun. Fun. <laughs> I can smell some of the exhaust. It seems to, of course, let out more emissions because we have a high flow. So it doesn't bother me, but it's something I can notice. I also noticed um, where the pipes meet the adapter, it still has a little bit of like a uh, leak, I guess you would say. It must just be a common thing because it's also like that on the S4. Kind of hear it a little bit with the windows up. You can kind of hear the exhaust tone now. Sounds good. I don't think it'll be too obnoxious or anything. Oh, <laughs> there's some big drifts over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to go that way. We got some pretty big drifts out here. <coughs> Let the background up. Yeah, those suckers go all the way through. Wow. So I know when you pair this up with the intake in a stage two tune, you can get some pretty good power and torque out of it. 
So in one of the next videos, we should be able to put our stage two tune on this and uh, really see some power. Right now, we're probably getting a little bit of a better response and a little bit of horsepower, but not as much as we could with the tune. So we'll go ahead and do a launch. Then so, launch it. You can definitely hear it. 